fact that they're giving up 50 points in the paint per game on average, and you look at the level of efficiency that simply is not there. You got a point guard in Russell Westbrook that's leading the league, second in the league in turnovers behind James Harden. I'm looking at a Los Angeles Lakers squad that is playing devoid of urgency. They're in L.A., chilling out, being a little bit too comfortable, and I'm looking at Frank Vogel, and the last thing I want to say is this. When he was in Indiana, because the reason why he's a head coach now is because of what he did as a head coach in mm-hmm, Indiana. Mm-hmm. I will remind you, in his five seasons, I got it right here, he ranked first from 2011 to 2016. He was 10th, 1st, 1st, 8th, and 3rd. Mm-hmm. Last year, he was number one. And now you got this going on? Frank Vogel, I'm saying it right here. No. Frank no. Vogel is going to be in trouble real quick if this continues. Why do you disagree? No. Well, I, th- they don't have the personnel to play that defense. I was just at their game the other night. Right, we were at the Celtic game, and I went to the Pistons game. They were right. in a lot more zone. They can't stop the ball defensively. Mm-hmm. That's their true problem. And the other thing is they've been injured. LeBron James has been out. AD's going to miss tonight's game. And then your final point about Russ leading the league in turnovers. Second turnover. Second in turnover. Yeah. But because of him, they're second in pace. And I'll tell you the actual answer that's going to stop them from playing championship-level ball. They're going to be five or lower in the West. I said against the New York Knicks, even though New York stood up and handled their business like I told y'all they was going to do. Here's the reality of the situation. Russell Westbrook is tearing them up. I mean, the guy shot about ten times in the first quarter, in the third quarter. I'm sorry. Fourth quarter comes. Mistake number one, Vogel starts with him on the bench. When you got Russell Westbrook flowing like that, hitting three-point shots, hit perimeter shots, you leave him in the game, yeah. took him out. Then when you brought him back in, he took three shots the rest of the game. Where you at, Anthony Davis? Where you at? He made difference against Detroit. Frustrated you that night, <laughs> but against the New York Knicks, all of a sudden his defensive prowess was non-existent. These things cannot happen. That does not have anything to do with LeBron James. That's got something to do with the team and Vogel. Right, and Jalen, there's one other thing we have in mentioned Michael Wilbon said they're an all-star team here's the problem they're an all-star team from like 2015 correct and, and, and that's the problem how much of the factor is age in all of that's this? exactly where I was going age so like um the education world to me your GPA reflects your work ethic and your test taking a lot of times is your skill mm-hmm. the okay. same thing for the NBA regular season right oh, don't worry about it I got the, you because we want to hear what you got to say NBA hold on regular for a second season, I got your regular microphone. season is about your autonomy and your ability to play the marathon game. We're good. Go ahead. Older it's basketball team, it just doesn't have the ability to do so at a consistent rate. That's why they've been down 25 in so a many third games. of their games. It's unbelievable. Because this is still a young man's game. But, but, but I, one of the specific things Jalen said, I think, Thank you, brother. plays into this. When we choose all-star teams, they're not looking at anything defensively. But if you look at the Lakers, they are not at this point. There are not enough people in that lineup, people who do dirty work things, who are not all-stars, who can stop ball who can get in front of people and stay really? there. There are not, Stephen A., because if they were, they wouldn't be 25 Michael, points down. Michael Will Bond, 25 <laughs> points down on six separate occasions. Two losses to the Oklahoma City Thunder. We're we going to sit here with straight faces. Hold, hold on, I understand they that. Was right. I understand that. We gonna sit here with a straight face and say they need those components to beat the Oklahoma City Thunder team? Oh, Apparently really? they do. You know what they need to do? They need <laughs> to stop getting beaten transition. They need to start playing defense. They give up the most points in the paint of any team in the NBA. They do all they the know. things that cause you to lose games, and what? that's why right now My they're Lord. losing. Greeny, you're driving me crazy. <laughs> yes, Greeny, we know that. What I'm trying to say is how difficult is that to do against some of these opponents? Apparently. Yo, yo, no. You lost focus. You comfortable in la la. Oh. You not prioritizing and playing with a level of urgency. I think this is about wanting. I think this is about a, the ability ability to execute and do it and I want to Westbrook I think he can do both I don't, I don't know why look Russell Westbrook is the ultimate competitor by the way Russell Westbrook did call Anthony Davis the ultimate weapon Stephen A mm-hmm. right and let's talk about what happened to AD last year missed 36 games due to injuries but I want I want to I want you to know something about AD AD has a talent to be one of the best to ever do it yes but last year career low in rebounds fewest blocks field goal percentage and free throw line percentage. 21.8 points per game marked his lowest scoring average since his second year in the league. Yep. So if there's a reason why you're bringing Russ over to this team, yes, because of his pace, because of his aggression in which he can play, mm-hmm. but also because of that mentality. 
And now what LeBron James has in his back pocket, instead of LeBron James always having to be that cop to try to push AD or when he's not around to get AD to see the bigger picture, now you have guys like Russell Westbrook. Now you guys have like Rondo. I'm not taking any accountability away from Russell Westbrook for Russell Westbrook because he does have accountability for that. But I like the leadership and that mentality he brings to this team. I have no problem with it, but I think, you know, but and I think that Russell Westbrook is a plus, not a minus. And I applaud his mentality. I love his fire. Y'all know that. What I would tell you is that the focus right now has to be on Anthony Davis in this regard. Russell Westbrook talked about it. And maybe it was because it was a question thrown to him by the media, and we understand that. Anthony Davis has literally had about 50 injuries in his career. 50. Anthony Davis has missed about 155 games in his career. Where I stand is that Somewhere along the line, when Russell Westbrook talks about him turning it up, Anthony Davis had to acknowledge that's something you didn't do in the past. And that's where we get to Anthony Davis. What possible excuse could you have? You, what did I say last year? When I was concerned about the Lakers, they were walking around town because, as you know, I, I do get to L.A., Quite often oh, these quite days. Quite often these days, okay? I get we to, we I, know. I, I You're yes. bi-coastal. I, I do, I do You're fancy. We know. I do get to L.A. Everyone, Stephen has multiple homes. I'm we know. Say, no, no, no. I'm, just saying, nice. I, I'm saying I ain't going all that. I'm just telling you I frequent L.A. Oh. Yeah. And I love it. I mean, I, I play the song I love L.A. every morning. I mean, I just oh, do. Geez. Okay, here's the deal. You won the title. What were mm -hmm. you doing in the off season? Mm -hmm. You see, at moments like this, as critical as we can be of LeBron James from time to time, this is when we need to step back and pay homage to LeBron. This is why he's on the Mount Rushmore, to the Kobe's, to the MJ's or whatever. They're the marquee. They're the headline. And there's an innate internal responsibility that they feel to answer the call. So it's not just about my ability. It's about making sure that I'm in shape. It's about making sure that I maximize my potential mm -hmm. and that I'm ready for all comers as an individual because everyone's looking at me. And my response to that is, how could you have a teammate like LeBron that just helped deliver you your first title ever? And I'm not insulting Anthony Davis. I'm asking a question because it was something, it's something that I would ask him to his face. If you didn't do all you could physically to have yourself in peak condition – how could you allow that to happen to you when you know you're playing with a champion? You're playing with a guy that the bullseye is perpetually on his back. How could you have that slippage? And so it's great that Russell Westbrook is there. Russell Westbrook's chasing the ring too now. But we've never looked at Russell Westbrook and said durability is an issue, conditioning's an issue. Only time we ever questioned Russell Westbrook's conditioning in his career is when the brother came down with COVID. I agree That's with you. It. I say I agree with you to an extent. Okay. But I do want to provide you some cover on this. Please. The last two seasons have been condensed seasons, and they've been quick turnarounds. Okay. So for AD's body, I hear what you're saying. Right. Some of the things that I've heard about training and yes. taking that seriously in the right. offseason, putting on that flexibility, that weight, uh, body muscle-wise. But there is something to be said about playing the amount of games they played in those condensed times mm -hmm. and the time they've had off in between. You know what? And I'll throw this back at you. I know LeBron is a freak of nature. Yeah. But I would be pretty embarrassed if a dude that is older than me is consistently, consistently, consistently in better shape than me when we have the same profession. That would bother me. Well, a lot and, of that's and, luck, and, though, and, Stephen A. too, now. No, no, no. Again, I'm not talking – injuries happen. I'm talking about conditioning. I'm talking about – you roll up in and you ready. Last year, you know he wasn't. You covered the NBA. You know I, he wasn't ready it. at the start. And that's on him. And I love Anthony Davis. Love Anthony Davis. He's one. I think Anthony Davis has the potential to be. He is one of the all-time greats. He truly is. And he's a great player, great guy. All I'm trying to say is that you got to know when LeBron James is your teammate, that brother is likely going to need you as the season wanes, because he's expecting to go deep in the playoffs. You got to be ready, man. You got to be ready.